UNRWA is majoritively involved in education in Gaza. That is the majority of its budget. And education in Gaza is intensely problematic. These schools teach hate, they teach radicalization, they teach violence, they teach attack. If the majority of schools in Gaza are run by Hamas, if imagine 3,000 terrorists who came over the border on the 7th of October, murdering, raping, cutting off heads, abducting the elderly and babies, it is fair to assume that the majority of them went to under schools. And these schools are in every single way, radical organizations. The content of their classroom teaches children to cut the necks of the enemy. And, and that is what we saw on October the 7th. They teach children about the importance of rockets in Palestinian resistance. And of course, October the 7th began with a huge barrage of rockets. They teach children that burning Israelis, Israeli citizens, is nothing more than a barbecue party. And of course, Israelis were burned in their homes on October the 7th. So, you know, this is not a bug. It is a feature of UNRWA, radical extremist education. This is a United Nations organization. Where's the supervision? How come it, it in cahoots with Hamas for teaching this kind of theories? Well, well, Impact SE has been warning for years that that is exactly what is necessary. We have delivered long lists of recommendations around accountability, around transparency, around how we can know what is going on in those schools. And this was never taken up, not by UNRWA, not by the United Nations. We know that donor countries had asked time and time again that these recommendations be taken up. That did not happen. And what was left was hotbeds of radicalization in Gaza and in the West Bank as well, by the way, because these schools are also in the West Bank run by UNRWA. So, you know, this is sadly, this is um, absolutely tragically a situation which we could see was going to happen if this radical education continued to be taught. And, and, and it did actually happen and it has to stop. I think, you know, that is really where we are now. UNRWA can no longer be involved in the educational process. It had a duty of care. It abrogated that duty of care. It is not fit for purpose as an educational organization. So we have now uh, 10 countries uh, cutting funds for UNRWA. Is this the end of this organization? Well, I think in the long run, you know, the no one of good faith, no one of good conscience can imagine that UNRWA will be responsible for the education of children going forward. I think we are, all of us, absolutely sure of that. There needs to be a replacement. There needs to be an enormous change in what is going on in those schools in Gaza, in those schools in, in, in the West Bank. Um, you know, I think in the um, short term, you know, clearly on the humanitarian level, um, and it will continue in that role, but it needs to be short term. What is absolutely for sure is the teaching of hate has to stop now. That doesn't have to be short term. That is absolutely something which needs to take place immediately in all of UNRWA's schools. As I said, not just in Gaza, but in the West Bank as well. This situation can frankly no longer continue. It is extraordinarily dangerous. We have seen the result. We need to learn those lessons.